Hello my little woolly. In today's tutorial I'm showing how to knit the infamous honeycomb stitch in the round. We practiced the stitch knitted flat a long time ago and some of you have asked me to show it in the round. So there are some differences of course. The first one is that when worked flat we have to knit two set of rows. The first row is a knit row and the second one is a purl row. When working in the round, we just have one set of round, and so you have to cast on an even number of stitches and knit the first round. I'm not doing it here because I did it when I started and it would change the pattern. So just knit the first round as I said, this is a setup row and it won't be repeated again. We do it once and that's it. And now we can start with our four rounds that will be repeated time and time again. So, round one. The repeat is net one, net one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below. Not there, but below. You see the V, and then you'll see a little hole there. That's it. And repeat. Net one, normal. Net one, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below. Net one, normal. Net one, below. Net one, normal. Net one, below. Net one, net one below. And repeat to the marker. Here I'm about to finish and I have to finish the same way I started. Net one, net one below. Slip the marker. Remember, you can find the written instructions on my website, so woolly.net, and there is a link for you below this video on the description box. So, second round. The repeat is, take the right leg of the stitch, put it onto the left hand needle and knit these two loops together. Knit one. That's it. Take the right leg, as I call it, of the stitch Put it onto the left hand needle, knit these two loops together, knit one, and repeat. Take the right leg, knit those two together, knit one. Right leg, knit them together. net one and repeat to the end of the round right leg together knit them together net one so i have to end as i started right leg knit them together net one Slip the marker and third round. The repeat is knit one from the row below and knit one normal. It's just the opposite as round one. Knit one inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below. Knit one normal. And repeat, knit one below, knit one normal, knit one below, knit one normal, knit one below, knit one normal, below, normal. And finish as you started, knit one below, knit one normal. Round four, this is the last one. 
the repeat is knit one and now take the right leg put it onto the left hand needle knit those loops together knit one same steps as row two but inverted right leg knit them together knit one right leg knit them together knit one right leg knit them together knit one and keep repeating to the end of the round then we'll see how to bind off okay here i'm finishing knit one right leg knit them together so how to bind off the honeycomb stitch knitted in the round we're going to bind off after a row after row four and it's like working row one we will do the same steps but we will bind off knit one knit one inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below and pass one stitch over knit one pass the stitch over knit one below pass the stitch over knit one normal pass the stitch over knit one below pass the stitch over so that's it just repeat it to the end of the round if you are binding off too tightly use a larger needle as a right hand needle and this is the other side of the work so that's everything for today my little woolly i think this stitch is just amazing so spongy so much texture really pretty I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and happy knitting.